Welcome to the module by module package. Hello dear friends, I'm here to teach you the basics of Abacus. The first thing we need to pay attention to is the number of modules in this software. The part module is for creating the geometry of model. The property module is to define the material and its properties. The assembly module is for putting parts together as desired and designed. The step module determines the solution approach. The interaction module generally specifies the contact characteristics. The load module is a module defining boundary conditions and forces. Mesh module, as its name implies, is for meshing. The optimization module represents a series of methods to optimize the solution. The job module is to run the simulation. The visualization module is to see the results and the sketch module is to draw the geometry. The first step in any simulation is modeling. This will happen in the part module. Of course, for parts that are a little more complex, modeling needs to be done in secondary software like SolidWorks and Katia. From this section, import a model in Abacus. There are three methods to have a model. 1. Modeling in part module. 2. Import from another software. 3. Modeling with a text file or input file. For example, for a carbon nanotube, an INP code must be written to enter the software. If we click on the Create part, its dialog box will open. Now you can define the properties of your part. Here, use the modeling space radio buttons 3D, 2D planner or axisymmetric to choose the modeling space of the new part. In axisymmetric model, 1D or 2D components can be supplemented with 3D dimensional shapes. 3D shapes such as a regular pentagon to a regular N-shaped square. We can see this in detail in the visualization module. In this section, you can choose the type of the model, deformable to create deformable parts in all modeling spaces. Discrete rigid creates rigid parts for any shape without any deformation during the solution. In this type, all different parts, including shell or wire shapes, can be meshed. Analytical rigid is similar to discrete rigid, but for special shapes and without meshing. However, it decreases the total time of the solution. The last type is the Eulerian, which is suitable for the material that can flow, or you can say, fluid mechanics. We want to select 3D deformable solid extrusion for our part. In this type, you draw a cross section in XY plane, then extrude it in Z direction with desired depth. Approximate size is equal to the length of the sheet edges. In other words, it is the size of the sketcher sheet. For example, when you input 200, it's a square width 200 to 200 dimensions. The value that we choose for the sheet size should be sufficiently larger than the size of the geometry. For example, when you have a body with dimensions of 5 to 5, it would be enough to consider the approximate size equal to 20. Let me explain the tools of this section. This icon is for creating points like isolated point. With this tool, I can draw wires or lines like this. To clear the drawings, press Ctrl plus Z to delete them. Draw a circle with this tool, we can make a circle with two points. One center, two is one of the points on the perimeter. So this is the circle. We can create a polygon by specifying two vertices or we can also do this with wire. Ellipse, combination of line and Semicircle. Actually, this tool is for creating arc tangent to the adjacent curve. Next is part of a circle. 
You can draw it by specifying the center and two points. Again, this one is to create an arc. You can draw it by specifying three points on the peri perimeter. This is to create a fillet and this is to create a spline. If I want to create a rectangular cross section, we first specify a name for this part. Well, I call it 3 dextrude. Here I draw the cross section of the shape that I want to create in extrusion type. The cross section is a square. For example, I consider the depth equal to 5 and this is how my part is created. Now I will create my second part with the title 3 dextrude twist. If I do the same, create a shape here with the same square cross section and select 5. Now I want to twist it, so I have to consider a pitch for it, like 5 distance per revolution. For example, this point returns to its place because of the twist. If I select 10, only half of the twist will be created. Here I click OK and it asks for the isolated point, which is the center of rotation. I select the center and click Done. The same window is displayed again and a twist is given to this shape. When I choose the positive direction, the twist is in this direction, but if I choose negative, it will twist around the opposite direction. We create another part again and name it 3D Extrude Draft. This time, instead of twisting, I want to choose a draft. I create the cross section again and enter 5 for its length. And here I choose the include draft to increase it or decrease the draft angle. Well, now I choose minus 20. The cross section is reduced with the slope, which is equal to the chosen angle. We totally covered the options available in extrusion. And now we review the options we have in revolution. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners Training Package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors. In the Revolution section, I will name it 3D Revolution and select the Solid and Revolution options. We should draw a closed shape on one side of the symmetry axis to rotate around it. The value of the rotation angle is between 90 to 360 degrees. We consider 360. As you see, the cross section revolves around the symmetry axis to create a complete ring. I create a new part named 3D Revolution Transition of Revolution Type.
If I draw a circle and check include the transition, I can rotate it around the center axis several times. For example, if I input 3600, it rotates 10 times around the middle axis, and I have to choose a pitch for it to make a spring. As you can see, a spring with pitch 2 is created. If we pay attention to the number of rings, we can see that there are 10 rings. Now we want to make a new part named 3D Solid Sweep and choose the third type, Sweep. A sweep is a solid shape extruded on a 1D or 2D path. For example, I select spline and create a profile. After defining the direction of my movement and selecting enter, it asks us for the cross section. I select the rectangle as the cross section, then the rectangle extrudes along the spline. This time I want to create a part again in 3D modeling space, but shell type. I select the 3D shell planner for the title. 3D shell or even generally shell is a surface with a small thickness compared to other dimensions. For example, I'll select a rectangular surface from this section. Select done and see this created surface. You should keep in mind that in shell type, its thickness must be specified in the property module. Well, we will create a new part called 3D Shell Extrusion. Select the shell and extrusion type. And you can see the only difference with the solid part is that the body is hollow. Now I go to the part, create part and name it 3D Shell Twist. Select Shell Shape, Extrusion Type. Exactly like the previous part, but in this section, select the Include Twist option and set 2 as the pitch. I can see that the center of symmetry in the middle, there is a complete twist in the body. As you can see, a hollow part is created for me in this way. I will go to the create part again. This time I choose the 3D shell draft for the name.
Draft is an increase or decrease at an angle. I create the cross section of the extrusion and enter 10 degrees for the draft angle. And as you can see, the angle between this line and this horizontal line is equal to 10 degrees. I create a part name 3D Shell Revolution. I select the angle equal to 180 degrees to clearly observe that the body is hollow. The next part is called 3D Shell RE. Just like the spring we created before. If I choose 3600 as the angle and consider pitch 2, we will have a spring with hollow body. This time we want to create a new part with a sweep type. And now I select a circle as the cross section. A pipe shape is formed here. I will go to the create part, this time selecting 3D wire. There is only planner mode. I have a wire in the sketch which is similar to what I have as the final shape. The point is to replace the rigid body. In this part I specify its coordinates and in the property module I have to consider inertia for it. All of the 2D options are like those in 3D. If I select the shell part, it creates a 2D shape. In the axis symmetric modeling space, I have to create a shape on the right side of the symmetry line. Here you can define your part only by shell or wire. Your sketch can touch the symmetry axis but cannot cross it. This is the part manager. I didn't choose a name for the last four parts. You can open each and see them here. You can create a part from this window and delete or copy it. If you need two of one part, you should change its name here. Lock it and with this option you can also close the window. The modeling section of the Bacchus is actually covered. Now I want to show you how to add something to the previously created parts. For example, we select this part and add parts to it. If I click and hold on this icon, Create Solid options will be seen. 
The options are extruded, revolve, sweep loft, and create solid from shell. Loft needs no explanation. With create solid from shell, I can choose a shell and change it to a solid or actually fills the shell. Well, if we begin with the extrude option, I have to select a surface, then choose a line that is located vertically and in the right direction. If I select this line, the shape rotates and this line will be located on the right side. If I select the vertical and on the left option, it is better to choose this line. Because you can see exactly the surface from the front, choose the horizontal and top option or horizontal and bottom, then select the bottom line. And the shape appears precisely at the angle I am looking for. Here, it asks me to draw the, the shapes I want to add to the figure. Well, this asks me how long it should be extruded. Up to face, you should extrude the cross section until that chosen surface. Blind, you input the amount of depth extrusion. You can see a solid cylinder added to this section similar to the previous part. I choose the right and vertical part. Create a shape there again. This time I chose this corner as a symmetry axis to be revolved around. Well, I tick the include twist option here and choose one as the pitch. You see that it twists around the corner and comes out. And I also choose a shape that has a draft. For example, select an elliptic shape and tick include draft, consider the angle equal to 30 for it. Click Create Solid Revolve, then define a cross section and rotation axis for it. We can define a surface and choose vertical and right line. Then a cross section and construction line as the axis of rotation. equal to 120 degrees, you can rotate this shape. Now, if I want to have a transition, repeat what we did before, but check include transition. For example, I select elliptic, tick include transition and enter 2 as the pitch so you can see the twist in this shape. This time, we want to try Create Solid Sweep. Draw a path on a sketch.
If you select flip, you can turn the path direction over. Now we should define a profile for it. Choose this surface and create a rectangle as the cross section for that profile. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners Training Package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors. In this video, I'm going to add a shell to this surface. From the Create Shell toolset, use Extrude. The only difference with the previous solid parts is the created body will be shell or hollow shape. For example, I draw an ellipse as the cross section. It extrudes from the surface with depth of 0.3 in hollow type. And to avoid Redundancy, I skip to explaining previous sections. Well, I can add a wire to the shape by wire planner and point to point and create a round between two wires. For example, I create part of 3D solid and extrusion shape to explain better the wire tool. Select the wire, it asks me to define a surface. For example, select a Create Line Connected option and you can see the wire will be added. From create a point to point, I can actually define the points by the coordinates. Make a set or even create in a spline type. Using fillets in sharp places is common. I chose the default for the radius and we would have this fillet. I'm going to make a cut in this shape with these options like Create Cut Extrude, Create Cut Revolve and Create the Cut Sweep. Loft option doesn't need to be explained and the Cut Circular Hole option makes a circular hole inside the body. For example, I want to make a hole in this plane, so I select the right side of the surface. I want to cut a circle out of my shape, the direction is clear. If I select through all, it goes to the end and if I choose up to face, I have to select a surface. With blind, it is necessary to specify the depth. I select through all, as you see, the hole is made through all the depth. With a blind, I make a hole with 0.4 depth.
For this part of the extrusion, we can do similar things we did in modeling. I draw a circle and specify a point. As follows, tick include draft and minus 20 degrees. Choose render shaded model to make it transparent and better observe the body. If I want to create a screw, I select this surface and then vertical and right edge. In the previous part, because I had sketched the circle as a cross section, the twist could not be seen clearly. I consider my axis of rotation here. I select Include Twist and choose Pitch 1. To see clearly the cutting shape, I create a transparent status and the shape is cut out of the screw shape. There are other options like Create Cut Revolve option or Create Cut Sweep option. I select Create Cut Revolve option and select this surface. I draw a circle or a square here. And draw an axis where it is necessary. Choose the angle for the rotation equal to 180 degrees. You can see we have the cross section which cut out from the shape by revolving around the axis. Another thing that can be done is to make fillets in sharp places. Choose Create Round or Fillet. Select this corner and define the radius. So a fillet with a 0 0.09 radius is created. Another option is Create Chamfer which is actually a sharp cut. With the Create Mirror option, you can copy a common feature. So select a plane that you want a backus to use to copy the model parts. It is a suitable option when there is symmetry on your part.